glory. Praise you. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm. Thus in the Lord, my beloved. Philippians 4.1. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm gone. I thank you, Lord, for your word and for your grace upon this word, for your hope in this word, for your life in this word, for grace in this word. Fill my mouth, Lord God, with life and allow me to release it to my brothers and sisters who are struggling right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. Glory. We should be feeling like this towards all our brothers and sisters, but unfortunately, <laughs> that's not the way it always goes, is it? Uh, some brothers and sisters we get along with great, some not so great. It's like a family. Some are estranged, some we're trying to uh, recapture a moment with, some were, you know, it, it's just whatever. The body of Christ right now, I think uh, prophetically speaking, is in a time of flux. I think there's, there's things God's putting together and bringing in, and there's other things He's removing. And... Uh, you know, God's the master potter, and we're the clay. And I praise the Lord for that, but some of the clay is resistant <laughs> to getting moved. Some say, no, no, touch me, I like where I'm at. <laughs> Others are saying, oh, yeah, I like sinning. <laughs> and and so, at any rate, we can we could get a picture of a bunch of... Well, actually, what I just saw was a great big huge potter's wheel and this great big huge pot that's spinning around and God's making it and He's designing the designs on the outside and, and He's removing some things from it. He's getting ready to add other things to it as 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 He begins to bring His body together because I believe that uh, doctrines and theologies that separate us are going to be removed on a larger scale in the coming times ahead of us and I just praise the Lord for that because there is a time coming where we might possibly have to meet underground like Chinese and like certain Europeans, Eastern Europeans and Middle Eastern people they have to meet underground because they're not free to share their faith and it could come this way and I see a prophetic movement here. I just I, I kind of see a little wind going, and that's all I'm going to go into right now. But the the main linchpin of this uh, this verse is stand firm, thus in the Lord, my beloved. Stand firm. You know, sometimes we feel tempted to just give up the ship and 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 go do our own thing. But if we stand firm in the Lord, then we are going to in a strong, stronger walk, stronger walk, stronger, stronger walk. <laughs> Can you say I kind of love coming in my tongue? Oh, it's the morning. <laughs> and 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 I just praise the Lord that it is the morning, <laughs> and that I can trip up on these things. That 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 I am I am on the Potter's wheel, and God's <laughs> making me the way He wants to make me, and and I praise Him for that. But we have to stand firm. We have to stand firm for the times that are coming and for the times that are right now. For what we see going on around us, stand firm in the faith that God's going to take us through it. Praise the Lord. And uh, I was going to bring bring this out of Ephesians 10, verse 13. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, evil day, evil day, having done all to stand. Boy, my tongue wants to go where it wants this morning. It truly is <laughs> a world unto itself. <laughs> At any rate, praise the Lord, we can stand firm. I don't know how many times I've had to stand firm <laughs> over the past few years. Um, almost four years now. I praise the Lord for that. And, uh, you know, where I've had to stand firm and hold on to God. Oh, I'm going down these rapids, God. <laughs> Life's getting rough. Whoa. <laughs> and, 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 and standing and just holding on to the promises of God. Knowing that through Him, my walk's going to get strengthened. Through Christ, not through Don, not through the people I hang out with, not through my bosses, not through my pastors, not through the brothers I, I hang out with, but uh, in Christ Jesus, through Christ Jesus. The, the fellowship that I get, 
bring something to the table, though. I don't want to discount it. But the importantness of our walk is in Christ, not in the people that we hang out with. And, and we need to begin to see that, that our worth isn't in us or, or what we do, but it's in Christ. Everything's in Christ. And if we begin to take that upon ourselves, we can begin to stand firm. I have a brother who's going through some things right now. I have an uncle that's getting ready to die, and, and we're praying for him. We're praying for him. We're praying that he comes to know the Lord. You know, there's a lot of struggles going on around us today in the, in, in the country and everywhere. And there's people that are, are getting hopeless. But our hope is not in, in what we can see or in ourselves. It's in Jesus. If we begin to recognize that and we begin to stand on that firm promise that in Christ I can do all things, <laughs> it's because of the joy of the Lord that's my strength. <laughs> then... We can stand firm. We can stand firm on the promises of God that in Christ He will never leave us or forsake us. That He would leave the 99 and come to rescue me. Glory. Glory. There's, there, there, there are so many scriptures about standing firm. Um, about putting on the armor of God. Not the armor of Don. Not the armor of whoever. But the armor of God. Standing, standing, having done all to stand, stand firm. Stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. We need to see that, you know, I, I really believe Philippians 4, 1 is about coming together as a group and standing before the Lord. Standing strong as a group before the Lord. Because he says, therefore, my brothers... Whom I love and I long for, my joy and crown, stand firm together, thus in the Lord, my beloved, <laughs> my beloved, <laughs> beloved, loved, glory. Think about this for a minute. Um, one is talking about standing firm in your own walk in Ephesians, and this one I believe is talking about standing together as a group. And I wanna, I wanna, if I wanna boast about about a group this morning, this group that, that is part of my family that I'm part of, and we're coming together on Monday nights, and, and God is doing such a big work in us. But it's not us that's doing the work; it's Him. And and I'm, I'm I am proud of this group. I don't walk in pride, but I am proud of the people that are coming in. I I love them. They're my brothers and my sisters, and I am so glad that God is bringing us together. This word is happening in our group. We're beginning to stand firm together as a group. Wow, that just I mean that just came right to me. How many minutes have I been going? Oh, well, I think I'm all right for another minute or two. But uh, at any rate, uh, we need to begin to stand together and be able to stand apart. If, if we're separated from the group for some reason, we're waiting for the Lord to bring us back together. Um, you know, there's some things that we have to go through on an individual basis, things that we have to overcome in our lives. And then there's times we come together as a group, as a body, in fellowship, and stand before the Lord so He can strengthen us, so we can stand together strong. Glory. What's Holy Spirit saying to you this morning? <laughs> glory. I just praise the Lord for this word and I thank you Lord God for your mercy and your grace upon this word. I thank you for my brothers and sisters. I ask Lord God that you would just speak to our hearts about standing firm. That in you we stand firm. In you we have our movement and our being. In you we are saved. In you we have life. And life more abundantly Jesus. And I just thank you for the day in Jesus' name, Amen. Hey, you know we need to we need to begin as a collective body to stand together, not be backbiting each other, not be uh, you know trying to see who can get to the top of the pile, but begin to lift and raise each other up, and begin to strengthen one another in Christ. Not in, not in ourselves, not in myself, not in yourself, but in Christ. 
we have to begin to see that it's in Christ that we have these things happening. That God wants to build a strong body in the Western world. You know, our body, um, you know, uh, you, you see all these news reports on uh, on people that are obese and overweight. That's just an external symptom of what's going on in the spirit in the Western world. We've had it so good so long that we don't even really exercise. That we don't even, we just expect. We're, 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 we're you know, we're, we're like a welfare state. Yes, give, 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 give. But God's saying the time is coming when we're going to have to start exercising and getting in shape and stand together. <laughs> Firm, thus in the Lord. <laughs> The Holy Spirit speak to you. Hey, I want you to have a good day. I love you in Jesus' name. Hey, I might just uh, have to do what I did the other day. Only this time, I'm just gonna. I'm. 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 I'm not even sure I'm gonna. I like to come back and just listen to what I did. Bye.